All right, so here he is right now at present, the best we have to offer at 145 pounds, the undisputed featherweight king, Alexander Volkanovsky. And you want to talk about a championship performance as betting underdog. A lot of people look at Rafael Dos Anjos back in the day against Showtime Pettis. How about what Volkanovsky did in outclassing Max Holloway to realize UFC gold? And he's just starting to put it all together. So it's a scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division to think just how good this Volkanovski could be now, having made those improvements since winning the belt against him. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Volkanovski is two years the elder. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, two losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Alexander the Great Volkanovski. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Hiding out of Mechacala, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. This is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it efficient. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? Well, round one is underway between one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division against maybe the best grappler in this division. Going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Yeah, you would think that he would just avoid grappling at all costs because he seems to have a clear advantage on the feet. But we've seen guys fight with their egos before. Let's see how he approaches this matchup. Just misses there with the left. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, some little power tie here. And he landed the right hand there. That is how you scramble, folks. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Look at him. 
drive his shin is through the corner's body with that body shit. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big clutch man over the top. Oh, the master it. of the transition. Nice scramble. Throws the right hand there. Connects with the right. Takedown attempt starting to pile up. Liver kick. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Straight right is there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. All right, so the commitment to the takedown. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, nice. Top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hunt. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately and he's landing to get damage off. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Now trying to trap an arm. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Oh! Massive kick to the body, lands flush. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. This is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Under three minutes now to go on the round. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. The ground and pound has been there all night. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, side control now. 
All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Into the final minute now of this championship fight. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Great punch landing with so much power. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Way to hide that leg kick. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the buff. Well, Kanofsky's got the full mount. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down the opponent. Better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this thing. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of... Oh, pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Volkanovski. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He's getting tighter. Wow. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. 
All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, and see who has the other. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the eye. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Double leg shot. Oh, high amplitude slam for him there. Wow. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Damaging punch there. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in the jiu-jitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Working on a guillotine. He's attacking guillotine. Looks like he's countering here with maybe a Von Flu. He's got the side mount. And now all of a sudden his opponent's in trouble. May want to bail on that guillotine sooner rather than later. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the arm bar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Five seconds remain in the round. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop the. Got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain postures, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Fifth and final round. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combination. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the legs, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Three minutes now to go in this one. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. 
now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Relentless pressure from the top by Volko. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Volkanovski. 20 seconds left. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Volkanovski. All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner, by split decision, and Steve!